What is up, man? 25 gamers. Let's take a look at the Seattle Seahawks uh, defensive and offensive depth charts here. Remember that the playbooks we're using for this offensive and defensive scheme of the week, uh, the breakdowns for those plays can be found on my YouTube channel, uh, prior videos that were posted prior to today. Uh, remember that we are also using the Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook and the um, Detroit Lions defensive playbook. And more specifically, we're going to be focused on a 5-2 uh, defense here. So quarterback Wilson, running back Lynch. Uh, make sure you put Percy Harvin in this third receiver slot. That's very important uh, for the offense. The other two slots really don't make any difference. Tight end, we have Zach Miller. If you want more speed, you can put Luke Wilson in. It's all up to you. I think that Zach Miller drops too many passes for me. That's why I like to start Luke Wilson for the speed factor. Defense. Um, on the left of screen, or the right of screen in, we have Cliff Averill. Um, on the left of screen in, we are going to put um, Bruce Irvin there, as you see here. And then there's three defensive tackles in the 52 defense. We like to put Chris Clemens. Um, we like to put him as one of them. Now, some people like that. Some people don't. Some people like to put, um, you know, Bennett there. You know, you can do whatever you want. Uh, for run support, put Bennett there. For pass, more better pass coverage, put Clemens there. Just depending on what you want to do. And then if you really want to lock the run down, you can put Jesse Williams there. But it's all up to your preference. Personally, I'm going to start Michael Bennett just because he's the balanced version of Clemens and Williams. There's no left outside linebacker in the 5-2, but if you know if we were going to use the linebacker, we're going to put O'Brien Schofield here. In the middle linebacker, we have Bobby Wagner. and the right outside linebacker, we have K.J. Wright. Corners, we have Richard Sherman and Brandon Browner. And, of course, the safeties, we have Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas. I just flipped the sides that they were on uh, just in case they ever come out like a 4-4 or something. You need to have that versatility there to always have Cam Chancellor on the field with that hit power. Kick returner, going to be Percy Harvin for me. I also like to put Ricardo Lockett back there with that 96 speed. And Pat Returner like to back up um, Percy Harvin with Ricardo Lockett. Third down running back, make sure to have Robert Turbin there. He has a very high catch rating. So thank you guys for checking out the Seattle Seahawks team breakdown. Be sure to stay tuned uh, for our game of the week. Make sure to also save everything that you've done before you get out of the depth chart mode. Otherwise, you'll have to reset up your depth chart in-game, and that will be fun. And that will have to waste the time out to do that. Thank you for watching this week's Scheme of the Week. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, look forward to hearing other Madden 25 tips, tricks, and strategies from me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be up uh, notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of the content we have for you today.